On April 24th, film producer Suzanne De Laurentiis hosted a luncheon and a gifting suite to honor our brave veterans and to celebrate the Oscars 2021. The event was held at Universal Hilton, Universal City. So on the red carpet, we were able to talk to honorees, VIP guests, and gifting suite sponsors. Let's check out the red carpet interviews. I'm really excited. I've never really been honored before. It's the first occasion for me, so I'm extremely excited. It's kind of a little bit crazy to be honored for something that you do for a living. I guess it's really important just because, you know, it shows that the work that I do, you know, people do see it and, the, and it's really good work, you know, so I'm excited for it. important is it for you to be here today? It's really important for me to be here because one of the things that I'm being honored for is an award from Suzanne De Laurentiis and so I'm very thankful to be here because we came all the way from Connecticut so um, being a blind uh, person it's very hard to do all that traveling but to come here it was well worth it for us because she's giving me an award uh, for inspiring people to continue to achieve their dreams in spite of life's challenges. Okay so with life's challenges tell me some of the obstacles you face. So when I was in my early 20s, I was diagnosed with a condition called retinitis pigmentosa. And so that's a devastating disease that was slowly robbing me of my eyesight. And so there was nothing that I could do. I wasn't, um, didn't have any idea what was coming. And it was something that took my vision within about five years. So it, it, right now I am completely blind. So since then, everything has become a, a challenge for me. So I had to completely readjust my life. It, was, it would have been very easy for me to quit and give up, but I decided that I wanted to try to continue moving forward because I felt that with every step that I would take forward, I could help others do the same. Yeah, well, that's so, such an amazing thing to overcome. Thank you. We see that you have produced a film. Can yes. Tell me more about that. Yeah, so we did. So we have one film right now. It's a feature film. It's called Super Duper High Squad. Okay. And it's about, it's a, it's a family-friendly comedy. And the movie is about a bunch of um, people that are kind of like, uh, we call them like misfits in their own way. It's very quirky people. They all have their own challenges. And so what they do is decide to come together and go on a mission to try to save a rare uh, action figure called the Solar Princess from being given to a, a boy at his uh, at his birthday party, basically. So it's a it's a kind of a it's a fun film. It's a you know it's like an adventure film. It's a heist film, and so it's it's a film again with people with uh, disabilities trying to overcome their challenges. It was such an honor to talk to Golden Globe nominee and two-time Emmy Award winner Sally Ann Struthers. She was best known for playing Gloria, daughter of Edith and Archie. Bunker and All in the Family, which just celebrated their 50th anniversary this January. Hi all the watchers out there in TV land. I want to be home right now in my pajamas watching this instead of being here. I'm much more comfortable when I'm not dressed up. <laughs> so how important is it for you to be here today? My friend Suzanne De Laurentiis called me and I've worked for her in a couple of movies and recently in a TV series that she's filming called Very Scary Tales and she said, I, you don't know this Sally because I've never asked you to be involved before but every year I throw a pre-Oscars party the day before the Oscars in a hotel room, in a big hotel room or Universal right now at the Hilton and um, she's, I said, well who are the people that come? And she said, I honor veterans you know, from the military, and I'm seated with one today. She's from the Marines, and and she was born in the Dominican Republic, and her name is Rosa, and she does wonderful work now with people in the state of Oregon, and they flew her in today. And so I get to sit with her and ask her a lot of questions and hear her story and talk to her husband and see all these people that are having this opportunity to meet actors, and we get to meet them, and everybody's dressed up. And it's really fun and then tomorrow I'll be in my pajamas watching the Oscars. Yeah, speaking about the Oscars, are you excited for it? I'm always excited for the Oscars. It's the biggest award show of the year and I hope someday that I'm in the audience there. Any top picks for the Oscars? Ooh, I've got to say that I'm really partial to Ma Rainey's Black Bottom and I'm really also partial to Chicago 7. I, that movie just was brilliantly done. I hope it wins a few awards. Speaking about awards and such, 
it is the 50th anniversary of On the Family. It is. Can you believe it? And I'm only 27. How can that be? <laughs> Yes, it's the 50th anniversary this year of All in the Family. The first one aired on January 12th of 1971. And uh, by then we had filmed eight shows. They were in the can. And we were told when we left rehearsal that day, January 12th, we were at working at CBS uh, on Fairfax. And our director said, well, this may be our last day because CBS has... Um, manned all the affiliates around the country with extra telephone operators to take all the angry phone calls. And if they get too many of them, we won't have a job tomorrow. So we had made eight. The first one was going on the air. And we all watched with great trepidation, thinking we might have a job the next day. And we all tiptoed into CBS the next day to ask what the numbers were. And they said they got thousands of phone calls, but almost all of them were good, asking, is it going to be on again next week? It's also the 20th anniversary of Gilmore Girls, which yes. I love being on for seven years. So it's a big year for me.